Hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to our platform and thank you so much for joining today. So, guys, this is a school that is open. Yes, you heard me right. So, if you are still looking for admissions to start studies this October, this year, this school is actually open and still accepting applications. I am going to be looking at my jota somewhere here so that I don't forget anything. But before I proceed with this, please remember that moving abroad now is becoming so competitive. So you may want to start the process early. Those who are saying that they don't have money to start the process or to begin any process, I will advise you to take a look at your CV. Then you see if you stand a chance to win a scholarship. By the way, you cannot know if you stand a chance to win a scholarship. Otherwise, you work for it. But remember, scholarships are usually very, very like they are given to the best so if you want to start any application or start looking at any scholarship opportunity make sure that you put in the work because scholarships are not given to lazy people i hope you understand i'm not saying you are lazy i'm just trying to pass the information across remember i am not having any partnership deal with this school i am just sharing information that can help internationals this school is located in the city of opole in poland and as an international student I think it is good for me to bring this information so you decide if you are going to apply or not. Let me tell you that those from West Africa, Cameroonians, Nigerians, Ghanaians, probably, you may have a little complication getting appointment to apply for visa. So please, I want you to take a look at this video. Think very well. Look at your chances of getting the visa because I know it's difficult. I know some people who have tried getting appointments to apply for visa, but they aren't getting it. I don't know what is the problem. I can't figure it out, but people are still moving to Poland. Take a look at this video well. Then if you can, you apply. I will encourage those who are watching me from South Africa, Zimbabwe, Uganda, Kenya, and some other countries across Africa and asia to ap apply to this school okay because you stand a chance especially if you have an appointment those in uae please check the united arab emirates embassy the polish embassy in uae to know if they have appointment slots if they do then you arrange your documents and apply now let me take you to some of the things that you need to know there is an application fee you have to pay to this university it's not expensive it's just about 20 or 21 euros but on the website you are going to see 85 five police loyalty that should be approximately 20 or 21 euros now remember for the tuition fee you are going to pay about uh, 7200 police loyalty which is approximately 3000 euros or even more that is just to tell you that police schools are not that expensive to those who are saying can i study nursing medicine in poland yes you can do it even physiotherapy you can study in poland now, another thing you should note are the requirements. I have given you what you need to know. Now, let's take a look at the requirements to apply before we go to the programs and we touch a little bit about the visa application. Requirements to apply to this particular university. Remember, I'm talking about the University of Opole. Opole is O-P-O-L-E. And for you to apply for bachelor's programs, you need to have your international passport ready. There was a time I did a post on Facebook. Before I even proceed, please like this video, share the video, and do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Encourage people to watch the video and also subscribe to the channel because if they do, they stand a chance. There are so many things, even if they don't find interest in this video, they are still going to get more information from me when I post subsequent videos. There was a time I post, uh, did a post on my Facebook page. If you want to follow my Facebook, my TikTok, my YouTube, and every other platform, check the video description box now i posted something one time and said if you really want to migrate abroad make sure you get a passport and somebody said passport is not needed that um can use their identity card please don't fall for that trap okay as soon as some schools don't see your international passport if they rather see your identity card and you are not from the european union or from e eu or from eea countries you will not get the admissions because they know you are not ready so please always give out what you want people to look at okay then this is the passport document number one then you also need your first school living certificate results if you want to apply for bachelor's programs now remember for Cameroonians, you also need your O-levels and A-levels. For Nigerians, you need your YX certificate. I do not think um, they accept NECO. I'm not very sure. You can send an email to them to actually verify if they accept NECO or not. Then, 
you also need what is called eligibility letter this letter nigerians you are going to get it from your minister of uh, education in nigeria cameroonians i think this is the document they call confirmation of results from the gc board okay then for south africans zimbabweans and other nationalities i do not know how they call it in your country please verify with regards to your ministry and of course it's just a document to prove that you've graduated from high school and you are good to go i think such documents come from the ministry of basic education or ministry of education check from your country and of course you also need a digital photo that as a digital photo is a passport photo of yourself okay the photo usually have a dimension so you may consider asking the photographer or check the school website properly i'm going to put the links down there to see the dimension then you go to a, a, a photographer and tell them to give you that particular dimension they are going to give you exactly what you need okay because you need to upload all these documents on the school website yes you need to upload them on the school website because without your uploading remember application is online these things you can do them yourself you don't need anybody to do it for you so you when you upload them online you are not going to relax then you equally need an english proficiency english proficiency letter now can come from your school if you have uh, if you studied in english just go to your school and tell your principal to give you that document remember the logo of the school must be at the top of the page it's very important so make it look authentic then also your documents their documents now i'm talking about uh your WAEC or your o levels and a levels or your wasi depending on the country in which you are coming from now one important thing i want you to note is that you are not submitting these documents like that you have to legalize the documents the first thing you need to do is to authenticate the documents you take them to the ministry of education ministry of foreign affairs then that is authentication then after that you take them to the polish embassy that is legalization now this is for nigerians for cameroonians the procedure is different because you are going for bachelors and all you need to do is to go to the gc board ask them for confirmation of results then when they give you they should address the confirmation to the ministry of foreign affairs then you now take the envelopes to the foreign affairs they will now sign it remember you are going there with your originals because they will take it and look at your originals as well this is just for the GC board to confirm that you actually passed those subjects. Then they will legalize it. Then from there now, as a Cameroonian, I don't know how you are going to get to the embassy to do this legalization. But I will advise you to always ask your university if you get your documents from the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Of course, most schools always accept this. If they get your documents from the Foreign Affairs, can you submit your application and it will be accepted? most schools usually accept this i have done it severally for some people last year and they got it not this year i don't have time to do all of that now please so put all this into consideration then you then launch your application it's so important without this done the school will not accept you the laws have changed in the eu and the laws have changed in the schengen zone most countries do not even accept because they know that many people they are not sincere with what they are saying so they want to make sure that the ministry in your country have approved the document for them to actually give you admissions in case you get the admissions you can actually relocate and start your lectures so this is what you need now we are done with the requirements for bachelors for master students you are going to supply the same things sometimes you are going to write a motivation letter all right for those going for bachelors sometimes it is a master students that are writing the motivation letter why you choose the program why Poland, and what you are going to benefit after you finish the program now for master's students not bachelors anymore masters if you want to study in this particular university you need those documents i mentioned plus english proficiency plus what we call your transcript and your bachelor's degree certificate remember they must go through the ministry of education for those of you who graduated from university of boya they must go through the Ministry of Education, Foreign Affairs, and Embassy. But for those from Cameroon, University of Boya, if you graduated, take go to UB, collect your transcript, then you legalize your attestation of completion of studies or your degree. That is, you certify it in UB. Then you gather the documents. Then you now move to the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. Okay. Then with the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, remember it is the transcript of the present registrar that will be legalized at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. This is only for Cameroonians, those who graduated from UB. 
I hope you understand. Now, we have talked about requirements. Let's take a look at the programs. The programs here you can study at the University of Opole include a three years program in English in public policy, then English philology. There is also public communication, international business, and global studies. These are some few courses you can study, some uh, few programs you can study in this particular university then for the master's programs you can study english philology global studies you can equally do teacher training programs they are there you can do sustainable development you can study european masters and also you can study political sciences you can do intercultural communication and of course liberal arts masters in liberal arts so these are the programs you can apply to application is still open as i speak to you it started in in april 20th and it's going to close 26th of July. So as you watch this video, if you have a chance to do all of this, you still have some time to be selected. And remember, when you are accepted to study at the University of Opole, you have just 14 days to pay the tuition. Otherwise, you lose your position. Please do not forget, this is so important. However, we are done with everything you need to know. Now, you, when you do the application, you get admissions. It is now time for visa. For you to know everything, the documents you need, insurance and everything, visa application plus proof of funds, check this channel you are going to find my video if you don't know it just type proof of funds to study in poland on the youtube search bar and add milton funkwa by the side the video is going to come out for you to actually watch there i explain everything that you need and how you can document all these things to show that the money is actually legit your sponsor is actually good to go i hope you understand so please put all this into consideration those in uae i will encourage you to check the polish embassy in the united arab emirates if you find an appointment apply to this school immediately but remember the legalization procedure i hope this video will help somebody please do not go without sharing the video liking the video because it means a lot to us remember Poland is very affordable and there are some universities that will even accept you without IELTS. Accommodation is also very cheap. Minimum wage is above 900 euros per student because international students can work part-time or full-time. Nobody is going to restrict you. But remember, you are there for academics. Okay, accommodation is cheap. Like I said, the cities are friendly. The people are friendly. So this is a good place you can take. If you can have an appointment, apply to this school and see you in Europe. Till we meet again, bye-bye.